Good morning. We are sat just outside of Bodrum Castle, otherwise known as the Castle of St. Peter. This was initially constructed in 1402 by an order of Crusader Knights that initially were part of the first crusade back in the 11th century. And the amazing thing about this structure is that apparently it was built by people from several different nations. And so there's actually different towers according to which country it helped to construct it. And apparently on top of that, this is meant to include the Museum of Underwater Archaeology. So we will go in and check it out. The tickets are 300 lira each, which is about turned into a mosque by the Ottomans, but way before that, back in the days of Halicarnassus, this was also a sacred holy site. And you can tell because they ended up uncovering a bunch of tombs when they were first excavating to build this. So clearly this has been a sacred site for thousands of years. Okay, so what did you enjoy about that? Well, number one, I liked that we were here for two hours, so I feel like we got really good value for our money. Number two, I love that the castle is completely intact in its original form. So you could see like the different towers and minarets and courtyards and everything. Number three, I expected that the underwater archaeological museum would be like in one room but instead the exhibits were spread out in the different towers, like the French tower, the Italian tower, the German tower, the English tower, the Spanish tower. Like, it was great to just move around and get little bits of information at once. And then the last thing that I learned was that through all these like excavations of shipwrecks, then they actually learned so much about cultures and trade and all of these different societies through the objects that they found and this place has such old history dating back to before the bronze age so it was just fascinating and you what were your impressions i was only expecting to really see a bit about medieval history but the fact that they basically gave you an entire timeline of this entire bodrum peninsula from antiquity and beyond up to now is really really cool that definitely gave me a lot more than i expected in terms of an experience i think the other thing is that 
Over time I've heard about the Crusades, I know very, very little tidbits about them, but actually being in a castle that was created by an order of knights that were created as a direct result of the Crusades gave me a lot more of an appreciation of what happened and also uh, gave me a better understanding as to what the Knights of St. John were, what they were doing, how they came to be, and so on. So, yeah, definitely it's filling gaps in my mental history that I had never previously learnt. So, all in all, this is really good. And like you say, for 300 lira, to get this kind of experience where you get to learn so much, this is an amazing place. To the beach! Hopefully you can see us. We have come to this place called Dinch Hotel and Restaurant. It is right in the harbour on Bodrum Beach. And how it works at all of these restaurants is that you order some food and drinks and you get a sun lounger or table to sit at for a few hours. At the moment they don't seem to have a minimum spend although I'm sure if it weren't like a Monday or if it was in high season maybe they would have one but it seems pretty legit to me so I hope it works out. Yep, um, we've gone for some of the cheapest items on the menu, so I went for a soup and a tea, which I think comes to about 65 lira. And I still went for some of the cheapest things, I went for just some fries and a Turkish coffee, which I believe comes to 80 Turkish lira. So hopefully we should be able to enjoy a summer and some food on a cheap. hotel after spending a lovely three hours at the beach. In my mind, this was another perfect day. It was. Sightseeing in the morning and then beach time in the afternoon. Yeah. And those two sun loungers plus the food, well, the sun loungers were free as long as you ordered food and drinks. Yeah. So we ordered 140 Turkish lira worth of food and drinks, which is $10, so pretty minimal. Which worked out to be really good value because yesterday there were people just advertising sun loungers and they were going for 200 lira a piece. Mm -hmm. And because it's a rocky beach, I feel like getting lunch out of this plus a little bit of comfort was totally worth it. Yeah, it was. And to be honest, I had my reservations about like having to pay for some lounges because it's not usually been my beach experience. But yeah, super nice, really good to have that extra bit of comfort and the fact that we got some food and drink for in there as well was really, really good. Yeah. And I think that's probably about it for today. Yeah, don't plan on doing much else but chilling in here. Exactly. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>